This video training covers the order section of the Vessel Service Solutions application. It should be noted that management is able to see orders. The deckhands and captains are only allowed to see orders if management has set the appropriate checkboxes in preferences. This is called the form view because everything for one order or case or tow is on one form. The information is divided into sections for easier data entry and viewing. There are two ways to get orders. The first one is the pull emails or orders or dispatches button. The second is a new blank order. We'll start with this one. The towing company section has all the information pre-filled from the preferences tab about your company information as well as the default port section that is marked. You can change the port here. You'll notice that each of the fields gives additional information about what the data should be in that field. You may also see an arrow on the right of a field which shows it's a drop down. Click in blank space after you have made a change. You can also see in empty fields that there is additional information about the kind of data that should go into that field. Simply click into the field and type in the information or click the drop down to choose. You may sometimes see other which allows you to add a specific kind of boat. Other times you will notice that there is an edit option which allows you to add an option or even rearrange the choices. Those new choices will now show up in that same order, but the other option does not remain in the list in the future. You can choose whether in C conditions and edit this list as well and even click on the graphic to see more information about that area. In the contact information section, you can check one or both or none describing who the contact is. And once you have entered name information, an arrow will be there to take you to related orders if that customer has ever had to use your services in the past. And you can click the arrow to view those details or go back to the original order that you started. There are spaces for street, city, and a drop down for the state, which is also a type ahead feature. You can enter in email information, which then can be used to easily send a PDF of the order to the contact. The Boat US member info is also editable with drop downs that you can modify as needed, insurance claim number, as well as an insurance company. When pulling orders from this button, most of this information will already be pre filled out for you automatically. The status area shows quick at a glance summary information about this order. Some fields are changed automatically in the process and others you can set on your own if you want to assign it to a captain or show the status. You can click on the icon to send an email to either Boat US or the contact. This is determined by the preferences set up in the email section of using your default email client or SMTP. SMTP does not have a dialogue, it sends it immediately, but the email client does have a dialogue. The QuickBooks section shows a summary of that information, which if this is read, that means this can be pushed to QuickBooks if you are set up to use that. This is also done in the Preferences section under the QuickBooks tab, and if this is unchecked, in the order section, this will be blank. The service information section gives even more details about the type of service, including a drop down of options with other and an edit option, as well as the report date and the date of the actual service. 
and a reference number which is unique to VSS and is different than the insurance claim number or the case ID from Boat US. There are options for how the initial contact occurred, the number of persons in the boat, the nature of the distress, which can also be edited, as well as additional descriptions of the boat's current location. The latitude and longitude can also be entered here, and then clicking the icon will take you to a map which can give you a better overall view of where the location of the boat is. You can choose the disabled boat's destination and edit that list as well, and then easily enter information about the specific times that each aspect of the service occurred. These are rounded to the nearest 15 minutes and automatically calculate the total of the hours based on day and nighttime rates of the service date. You can choose which boat you want to use. This list is set in the preferences under the active boat section, as well as assigning a captain, which shows four options of captain or management, which are also set in preferences for personnel, which only includes active captains or management. You can choose the start location of the towboat, which is also an editable list. And there's a specific button to text the captain a quick summary of this order, which is set up in the personnel section for that captain by using this phone number here. Clicking this button sends a text and gives you a confirmation. The text message will come from a generic number with area code 760, which does not allow replies. You may also note that because we text the captain and chose the captain, the status changed, as well as this information of when the captain was selected. The last section is the description of services section, which has a dropdown of available items to choose from. These are set in the Preferences tab under the Item section, which you enter either manually or through QuickBooks if you are using QuickBooks. When you have a lot of items, you can edit this so that it has a number that puts it at the top of your list when they are entered in the Order section. And this information is automatically pulled from what is set in that preferences section. The totals are automatically calculated as you make changes. You can see the day hours here, so you could enter those as well as the night rate. The totals are automatically updated, or you can delete an item if it is incorrect. You can modify the amount that is billed to Boat US, which automatically changes the amount billed to the boater. The terms and conditions are already entered by what is set in the preferences section for your terms and conditions, but it will be entered at the time the order is created. It must be changed prior to that if you want it to show up here. The signature area and date signed will be completed on the iPad at the service location, but will show up here when the order is synchronized. You can add comments in this section, but they will be visible on the invoice to the customer and or Boat US. You can also check multiple payment methods as needed. The More Info tab will be covered in the onboarding session. And you do have the option to print the current order or the found set in the menu system. That's all the information on the order form screen. You can see a summary here of the last time orders were pulled. If we click the pull emails button and now we are notified we have 10 new orders that have automatically been brought into the system with the summary information showing up here, as well as seeing up here a 10 
out of 81 total orders. This is how information is typically emailed, which can be kind of cluttered and difficult to spot information quickly. VSS automatically puts all that information into the proper section, but still allows you to make any edits as needed. You can assign a captain, which now allows them to download to their iPad, which will then notify you if it has been pulled to the iPad. So whether you are pulling orders from Boat US or you are creating your own, all of the information is here and ready for you to utilize as needed. This is the form view, but you can also see them in a list view and notice that there's 10 out of 81 and they are unsorted. If you click on the orders button again, it shows the 10 orders in a list fashion. They are now sorted by reference number, but you can choose any of these headings to resort them by name or date or captain or status, any of these. And however you sort it here, showing that we're now on eight of 10, if you click the arrow next to the order, we go directly to that order and we are still on eight of 10 and sorted in the same fashion. In the list view, you can also navigate to other areas of VSS, as well as change the list contents with this button. You can click show all, which shows all 81 records and still sort them as needed. We have four paid orders. If we click omit paid, we now have 77 records out of 81 and the paid orders are no longer here. If you are using QuickBooks, you will also see other options to push or pull information as well as the status. If it's read, it has not been pushed and needs to be pushed, but it will only push those that are read and reviewed. You can change the status of an order by clicking on the status field, or you can click push to QuickBooks, but all other information would need to be changed by clicking the arrow next to the order. You can also find specific information by right clicking in a field and clicking find matching records. And now there are three that each have that specific information. You can also use the right click to sort your list. You can also find information by clicking find and clicking in a field and either choosing the drop down or you can type information specifically. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control F and type in information and click Perform Find and find all of the nobles. Another similar list view for orders is the dashboard. This gives you lots of summary information and ways that you can quickly shorten this list or clear all filters to see all or use the checkboxes. And your quick summary view is changed instantly. This view will always sort by service date, but you can always click on orders and sort them in a different manner. And just remember, anyone that has the manage privileges section under dispatch checked is allowed to view this information. You can uncheck these so they are not allowed to view that information. That is the order section of Vessel Service Solutions. Check out our other training videos for the other sections or contact us with any questions.